Assalamu alaikum from the shores of the Arabian Sea. Stretching out northwards before me lies Pakistan, the land of the pure. And I'm now setting off on a journey across this young nation in search of a mountain dwelling tribe of infidels that are said to be descended from Alexander the Great's army. Are you ready for a wild adventure unlike anything you've seen before? Then join me. So welcome back to the Indian subcontinent. And it's already kicking off as young Kamalwala tries to charge me. What? Okay. The Hamas Kamalwala tried to charge me an extra 500. But that's okay, you can't blame people because we're in Pakistan, which is one of Asia's poorest nations. A nation that hasn't quite managed to develop economically in the way it should have done post-independence in 1947. Anyway, let's explore the beach here. Uh, Almost 70 years old. 70? Almost 70. 70? Yeah, 70. They're saying that this cobra, oh my God. They're saying it's 70 years old. I didn't even know they loved, lived that long. You're not afraid? Are you afraid? Is he your friend? <laughs> a chair? <laughs> yeah, keep the pizza. Pancho, Saiba. Right then, let's get out of here and begin our journey. Bye bye, everybody. I've got a journey across Pakistan to begin. Change kind? Ye ho jayega pura. Kya? Ye pura ho jayega. Ponsor. Azar. He's saying he doesn't have change. He does have change. So I saw money in his pocket. But it just so happens there's a McDonald's over here. So I'm going to go and get change at McDonald's. We can't be scammed, although it's not for a lot of money, to be fair. In our first moments in Pakistan. What about you, Shukra, Benji. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Apka. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you got to deal with the locals. Right. Let's jump on a bus or some form of transport. Head into Karachi. Absolute scammers. Right, ways up. Whoa. Where are you going? Right, ways up. Chalo, Arangi Tanji. Crazy traffic on the roads of Pakistan, especially here in Karachi. Well, we are in a real Pakistani taxi. This is an old car, I don't know what it is, but check it out. All the old buns, the original radio, the original down there, taxi meter fare. Look at that. And here we have an actual clock. Maria. What Maria? Right. Less car reviewing and more telling you about the place where we're going, which is called Arangi Town, Asia's biggest slum. Oh, I think we might have reached it already. Woohoo! I think we've arrived. See you, sir. Koi baat nahi. Shukriya, sir. Memani hab hamara yar. Yeah. Memani hab hamara. Memani ham bara baba baba. What's your name, man? Kuda Khafis. Shukriya. Where the hell am I? And what am I going to do here? Bye bye, sir. And I love your car. Fir milenge. Kuda Khafis. Oh shit. Hello. Where am I? What a place! Let's explore what is called Arangi Town. Go and check it out. Where is up? Yale. Where are you? Well, this is Arangi Town, which is the world's largest slum, according to Wikipedia. It actually started off as a refugee camp for Muslims escaping from the partition wars with India in the late 40s and early 50s. And then its population swelled once again in the 1970s when Bangladesh gained independence from Pakistan and many refugees came here to settle in Arangi town. Let's have a little walk through it, see what we see. Holy shit. Are we back in Afghanistan? 
like in the centre of Karachi where I was before, people wore Western clothes, there was a McDonald's. Here you really feel like... Hello sir. I'm Jana. Uh, chair? Jello, what's up? Jello. Salam alaikum sisters. Wow. Um, you really do feel like you're in deepest, deepest... Great game country. Hello. 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 Did you do it? Hello. Oh, you did an upside down one. You coming with me? Let's go for a stroll through town. Show me your city. Where do I sub? Show me your lovely town. These are boys a few words. You want to take it? You want to take control? Like the is all I want. Good. There you go. Wow, you've got a deep voice for a young boy. There you go. We're off. Right. Where do I sub? Yeah, I'm very good. How are you? What the hell? Yeah. Look here, when you get married in Pakistan, you put this on, which is basically a necklace made of cash. Look, this is Jinnah, the founder of Pakistan. Yeah, Jinnah. That flyover behind me, that you can see in the distance, was built to stop and put an end to into ethnic violence here in Orangu. There's a barrio up on that hill, which isn't Orangu. And the people from that barrio used to have to pass through Orangi on the way to Karachi to work each day. And the Orangians would attack them and kill them because they were from a different group or a different caste or whatever. And so the government built the flyover so it'd be safe not having to come through the streets of Orangi. It's pretty dodgy in Orangi. The Orangians are known for a bit of um, nefarious activities, but they've been friendly to me. Well, we've explored down in the bottom half of Orangi town, but up here is where they built the houses, starting in the 1940s. This is basically the Batari of Karachi. Salam Ali. Oh. Okay, Yanka. Salam Alaikum. This actually feels quite dodgy, which I didn't expect to feel. Wow, just doors slamming as soon as I walk past. Faces hidden behind sheets and behind the macabre, the burqa. Assalamu alaikum, bhai sahab. Kya hai le? Bariya tiga? Okay, hai ji, ji, ji. Wow, let's carry on walking up. Along this maze of houses that was built by people who had arrived after terrible journeys. What they witnessed, what the Muslims of India witnessed during the partition war is just oh, disgusting. And what the Hindus also, it has to be said, leaving Pakistan for India also suffered, was also terrible. And many of them said here, Salam Alaikum. Kya Oh, Chota. Salam Alaikum. Hello. Do you speak English? I've gone crazy about here. Pashtun, Pashtun. Pashtun? Where are you from? Where are you from? From England. England. Where are you from? Peshawar? Uh, Sawat. Sawat? Yes. So this family are from another part of Pakistan and they've moved here to this region. They are Pashtuns. And we're going to meet a lot of Pashtuns on our journey north towards the tribe in the, um, in the mountains. Wow. Interesting, sir. Interesting. Bye-bye. Oh, wa alaikum asalam, sir. These little alleyways and streets are home to a lot of inter-ethnic violence because there are people that came to this, well, what started off as a refugee camp, from all over India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, in fact. And so that brought a lot of tension between different um, ethnicities who decided to fight each other for superiority in the region, basically. And so Harangi town really is known as a hotbed of violence, of murder, and of other terrible crimes that I've been reading about before I came up here. But this is it. And over there in the distance, above the smell, and the haze of burning plastic is Karachi city. And we're here in Arangi town. What's up? This is my first time here in Pakistan. Good. 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 I'm going to have a look. Nice to meet you. Shukriya. Wow. I don't know what you're saying. Maybe who's saying this, mate, if you go up there, you're going to get slaughtered as a whitey in our town. But I don't think so. I think he's probably just say, go and have a look further up, higher up in this, the world's largest slum. My God, and it is a slum. It gets worse the higher up you get.
I must look to these kids up here like an alien. They've never seen something like me before. A white man talking to himself with a stick. Assalamu alaikum, Chota. Gale. Diga. Me? All right, let's get out of here. Whoa. Safely. And continue our journey out of Karachi and northwards towards the Kalash Valley. Oh, my son. Shello? Shello, my son. Yeah. Good night. Oh. Woo. Garmi, huh? Mm. Bot garmi, huh? Shello, see that. Let's get out of here. We're going to go to the railway station because we've got a train to catch. What is this? Oh, it's a lot. Yes. 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 If you look up in the sky above Arangi Town, you'll see lots of flags that look like Afghanistan flags fluttering. Let me show you. You see them here fluttering in the sky? Well, they look like the Afghan flag because they represent Pashtun families. The Pashtun people are the people from the Northwest Frontier Province, from Afghanistan, from parts of Baluchistan. And they represent, see this one, see that. And they represent the huge numbers of Pashtun people that live here in Arangi town. And so that's why you see flags for the political parties that represent the Pashtuns here in this area of Karachi. Look at them everywhere. Afghan flags, kind of. Shukriya sir. Oh, we're out. Bill Malingi. Oh, he's off already. Didn't even stop to say goodbye. By an honest taxi driver. Oh, look at this man. Hello, sir. Gale. Where are you? So, I want to show you something before we go to the train station. And that is my hotel. So there's something interesting about it. Let's go. So I brought you to my hotel, which is a rather fancy hotel here in Karachi. It's called the Marriott. But look at the security. Oh, my God. Wow. Look here. AK-47. Wow. Here? Security. Thank you for keeping us safe. Shukriya, yeah, sir. Where are you? I'm from England. England. England, sir. England. And so many of the expensive hotels and embassies have security like that. And that is because well, for a few reasons, but mainly because Pakistan is a nation that is still divided, not divided from India, but divided internally between the hardliners, the Islamists, and the more secular people. And so, it means there's a lot of terrorism here. And that's why in our hotels we have a lot of, um, well, stuff like this. I'm about to be told off. How do I up? Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you? Fine. Manager? Uh, yes. They tried the movies uh, not allow the working area. Ah, no filming? Pakistan Railways Karachi Kant. I didn't choose the name. Let's go and look for the train we're going to catch now, which is going to take us all the way to Baluchistan overnight, 24 hours on the Bolan Mail. How exciting. Bolan Mail is a platform number one. But somebody told me it was platform number two. No, no, no. Platform number one and uh, late this 8 p.m. It's late. Oh my God. Are you going to Quetta also? Platform number one. Number one, Quetta. Yeah. Bolan Mail. Yeah. Other side. Okay, I'm going the other side. Are you making movie? Yeah, I'm making I movie. Like yeah, for like YouTube. Like hey, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome. Sir. Thank you very much. Ah, nice people here in Pakistan, but I'm on the wrong platform. The characters back there said I'm on the wrong platform. Let's go and look. If we look up here on the train that's just pulled in, it tells you where it's coming from and where it's going up here in Urdu. But I don't understand Urdu. But trains here go such interesting places to Baluchistan, to the northwest frontier province up by Afghanistan, to towns like Rawalpindi, Islamabad, Lahore. But we're waiting for the train to Quetta, but where is it? Quetta. Oh, right away. Yeah, let's see. Sanjana. Multan. 
Multan. You can go to towns like Multan. Acha. Hey, Bharat. Kya army hai acha sab? Acha? And these are soldiers from the Pakistani army. They'll be going to um, different towns along the frontier to protect the borders of Pakistan from nefarious people and nefarious nations. Finally, two hours late, the Bolan mail has arrived. Yeah. Ah, I like very much. Pakistan is a very friendly country. Very friendly. Hello. He's my All right, daughter. Up. It's your daughter. Hello, daughter. How are you? What is your name? Handshake. Oh, okay. Handshake. Very formal. Pleased to meet you. I go now to Quetta. Have a nice journey. Nice to meet you. My train is going. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Time to jump on the Bolan Mail. Bye bye, Karachi. See you later. Right then, let's see what a sleeping compartment in Pakistan looks like. Oh, I'm stuck. Let's see if it's anything like the Trans-Siberian Express. Woo! What the? What, what are you doing, doing here? I'm in Pakistan on holiday. Backpacker Ben in Pakistan on holiday. I can't believe it. Flipping egg, right. I'm going to go and look for my bed. What the hell? Is it around here? So what the? What are you what doing here? here? Simon Wilson. I'm off to Quetta to try some amazing street food. Flipping heck. Good to see you, mate. Simon Wilson, Backpacker Ben, on the Quetta Bolan Mail. Let's do it. Salam alaikum, my son. Hey, how are you? Nice join us, you. join us. Hello, my son. Cordry. We've got ourselves some armed guards. Wow. Dangerous here. The train is dangerous? Yes. Why? We are protected yeah. by your friends. Yeah. I think everything is safe on the train. Inshallah. 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 In the food, in the drink, I fall you asleep. You are mobile. Gone. So don't trust people. Don't trust people. Anyone. I just trust police. Okay? It's all routine. I trust you. It's all routine. So what we're going to find on this trip around Pakistan, as Ben has told me, because he's been here before traveling around, is that we're gonna have a lot of police following us and army following us and secret police. And that's not anything bad. It's to protect us. They're just worried that as tourists in their country, something's gonna to happen to us. And they don't want that to happen. So that's why there's guards all around us and police checking on us and making sure everything's okay. It is a cold, frosty morning in this little town in Pakistan. Here in the Indus Valley. Check it out. Good morning, Pakistan. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum, sir. Wow. Our first stop of the morning on a chilly morning here in rural Pakistan. Here, actually, in the valley of the Indus River. The Indus Valley was once, was once home to an ancient civilization. And 3,000 years before Christ, believe it or not, they had cities here with plumbing and drainage and intricate street plans. At the same time as us in Europe, we're living in caves. I don't know what happened to those cities because passing through what I just saw, things have certainly gone downhill. But anyway, here we are. Rural Pakistan. Oh, what are you doing? One more. So, Tiga. Tiga, sir. Tiga. When the Brits discovered the Herapa site where the Indus Valley River civilization was, they broke all the old buildings and the old cities and used the bricks to build the railway line throughout Pakistan or what was then India. Anyway, let's jump back on that railway and head north towards Quetta. I see someone that looks familiar. Mike Packer Ben. Good morning, mate. How do you feel? I haven't slept a wink. Have you? Uh, no, and there's a reason for that. Simon Wilson. Simon Wilson. Simon Wilson should not be allowed on public transport or anywhere where you have to sleep with other people. 
because he spent the entire night snoring raucously in his bunk. You are a disgrace, Simon Wilson. Get off the train now. You're a disgrace. You ruined everyone's sleep in this compartment. I apologise about my friend's behaviour. <laughs> We're pulling into the town of Shikarpur, here in northern Sindh province. Hello, sir. Wow. Oh, come wow. on, sir. Where are we? Very we are in Shikarpur. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at this. This is a little Pakistani city in the north of Sindh province. Wow, look at it. Dusty skies. Rubbish everywhere. People just milling around. What's your name? My name is Benjamin. My country is Pakistan. Your country is Pakistan, and I like your jacket. Very smart. Very smart. Very smart, sir. Sir, his jacket is the Gulf. Gulf? How? Oh. From the army? No. No. I am a rickshaw driver. Ah, rickshaw driver? Yes. Okay. Let me see your rickshaw. Yes. Oh, it's very nice. Sit you, sir. Sit, but I have to go on the train. I don't have time. Time near. It. Wow, but I can imagine cruising around your town of Shikarpur. Here. Yes, Shikarpur. Shikarpur. Hello. I think I have to go. Come, come. Okay, Thank you. Okay, Thank bye. you, my son. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Bye bye, Rickshawala. Nice to meet you. No, I might stay here. I think I will stay here. In yeah, I like Shikarpur. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't want. I want to stay here. Bye, bye, guys. Bye, bye. I'm gonna stay here, mate. Whoa! I'm on. I almost had to live the rest of my life in Shikarpur. <laughs> This train passing through their town must be the highlight of the day. Nothing else happens here. Just a little bit of cricket. Bye bye, guys. Wow. And playing in the rubbish dump. Nothing else to do. What a place to be born and to grow up in. Wow. We've made it. We've made it, oh, only just, to the end of the platform here in lovely Jacobabad Junction. And over here is the office of the Yard Super Yisso. Do you know why it is called Jacobabad? Yes. After the English soldier, no. Jacob. Yes, that's correct. Jacobabad was named after a British soldier in the British Army back in the Raj days, who was sent here to protect the frontier. The frontier then was slightly different from now. This was the wild frontier with Afghanistan. He was sent here to protect the frontier and he did a lot of good things to the people, including building them a nice water tank so they could have some water. And so they named the little village that was here before Jacobabad. And that was a big old town with lots of characters hanging around. Would you would you move to Jacobabad? Probably not, to be honest, mate. What have you got against it? Nothing against it. Try some street food then. I remember what you said last night on the train. I'm waiting for Quetta. Come on, try some no, street I'm food. I'm waiting for Quetta. My friend would like some. No, no, oh, what do you have? Rice. I think my friend would like some. This scene that we're witnessing on the platform here in Jacobabad. Probably hasn't changed much in the last, what, 150 years since the days of the British East India Company and then the Raj. I mean, an old fashioned train, an old fashioned railway station building. The same fashions, no doubt. People were wearing shawar kameez back in those days. Wow. Getting water from a well on the platform. Yes. Let me welcome you to my friends from Jacobabad. Oh, the Jacobabad people. Uh, it, basically, this is the border of two provinces. Okay. One is Baluchistan and one is Sindh. So after this, Baluchistan begins. Yeah. yeah. 
the language and tradition and uh, food, uh, each and everything will be changed. Is that right? Yeah. Baluchistan will be a little bit different. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, our journey should become a little bit more interesting now as we leave the desert, the lowlands behind, and instead head westwards into the mountains towards the Bolan Pass, after which our train is named the Bolan Mail. And the Bolan Pass is interesting because it's been used for millennia by invading armies and traders. In fact, Alexander the Great, the greatest general of all, he passed through the Bolan on his way towards India when he conquered this part of the world. So there's a lot of history here, a lot, a lot of history here in Pakistan, especially on the Bolan Mail. Well, just like Alexander the Great, we are heading into the Bolan Pass. As we stop for a minute just to let the engine cool down from climbing up towards the Bolan. We've been so privileged to see this, the history of the region before nightfall. I mean, been so lucky. The train is many hours late. I thought we were going to miss it, but we've just caught it at the very end of the day. The historical Bolan Pass is a place I've wanted to see since childhood. And um, to finally see it here in Pakistan on this, the Bolan Mail has been incredible. And uh, yeah. Let's go onwards to Quetta. Yes, boys up. Cello Quetta. Wow. Wow. Okay, sir. We've arrived in Quetta. Okay, book. Bye bye, sir. Okay, Thank bye. you. Bye bye. Salam alaikum. Wow, we've made it to Quetta. It's chilly. Oh, the journey is over, thank God. Oh. How are you? Welcome to Quetta. Hey, hey, it's good to be in Quetta. Are you from Quetta? Yes, I am from Quetta. Do you speak Baluchi? Uh, I speak Pashto and Brabi both. And Brabi got? Yeah. I haven't learned Where that one from? yet. Oh, you've got the hardest handshake in the world. Yeah, absolutely. I'm from England. I'm from England. Good to be in Quetta. Nice to meet you. Hello, kids. Hello, how are you? you okay? I'm fine. Good. Right then. Kudafis up, Kudafis. Right then, the journey on the Bolan Mail, thank God, is over. It was a long one, 24 hours exactly. But now we're in Quetta. Oh, everybody's up, Kyale. Sige. Acha. Which way am I going? This way? This way through here? Am I allowed out? It's not easy escaping the hotel in the morning. Let's just say there's a few security checks. Assalamu alaikum, shukriya bhai sahab. Fir milenge. We're out onto the mean streets of Quetta. Aur bhai sahab. Good morning. Kya hal hai? Theek hai, badhiya. Aur bhai, aur bhai. Theek hai, oh ye kya hai? Ye cigarette sir. Acha? Ji ha. I just caught the security guard with some um, hash in his cigarette packet. Anyway, good morning from Quetta in Baluchistan. A place which is currently under attack. Needs to be a little bit careful, and I'm not, I'm not joking. Just yesterday, in the centre of the city, there was a terrorist bombing.
few miles down the road, a few people are injured at the hospital. And further down the road, towards the border, there was an attack by Iran. They bombed Pakistan just yesterday. Typical luck. I turn up when Pakistan and Iran are on the verge of war. Anyway, let's take a walk downtown with my two friends. You may recognize them from previous video. Ben and Simon, they'll protect me. Ready? Yep, third bodyguard, come on. Where are we going? <laughs> We're walking through the dodgy streets of Quetta. Hello, Baisab, how are you? Fine, fine, Three fine. people on one motorcycle. Yes. Yes. It's yes. illegal. It is a quetta. Where are the police? Yes. Look at this man. No, don't kill the arrest us. Friendly people of Quetta. Dodgy Quetta, good people. Where are you going? Hello, I don't know, I'm okay. Sit down, okay. Hey boys, I'll see you later, you invite me to sit down. Okay, let's go. You're Christian, I'm Christian too. Hello. How are you, sir? I'm okay. Come on then, my Christian friend. I'm hanging out with my Christian friends. Christian family, this is my friend. Let's go to church or something. Wow. Hello, everybody. Wow. We're meeting new friends on the road. Yes. Wow, we're all here. I am a student. You're a student? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice to see you. I'm Richard. Good office. Ah, here we go. Thank you for the invitation. Hello, where are you going? Yeah? Hello, Waysam. Hello, Adam. Adam. Hello, Waysam. Assalamu alaikum. No, no word you. No word you. Three words. Up here we have the monument of the great earthquake of the 31st of May 1935. Wow. Before that earthquake, this town was known as, known as Little Paris, believe it or not. That's a true story. Then the earthquake destroyed the city in 1935. Hello. Yes, fine. Can you go? You're following me on your bicycle? Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, I'm good. How are you? Fine. Yeah, I'm fine. You fine? Yeah, England. England. Where are you from? I'm from here. You're from Quetta. Yeah, nice to meet you. Here. It's a nice city. Hazara community. Hazara community. Let's go Hazara community. Interesting. Yeah, let's meet the Hazara. Hazara. Hey, how are you? Whoa! Whoa, almost died. Hello guys, we're going through. Hazara community. We're on our way. Whoa. We're coming to look at this community. Whoa, careful. Hello, what's up? England. Where are you from? Pakistan. Pakistan. <laughs> Salam alaikum, sir. Kiale. Salam alaikum. Where are you, sir? Kiale. Salam alaikum, sir. Salam alaikum. Sit down. This election office. Election office. Ah, election office. Yes. Okay. Are there specific problems for the Hazara community in Pakistan? Or? You have equal rights? Uh, in a recent year, there, were, there was a lot of problem. Was there? But, uh, uh, from, but uh, from that time, Abdul Khali Khazara yep. uh, became our minister. Yep. Uh, everything became normal. Everything became better? For our, uh, for our self. For your community? Yeah. I am now officially a member of the Hazari Democratic Party. Chakor Bizni, Chakor Bizni. Thank you. Hazari Democratic Party. Proud supporter. Proud supporter. Okay. Thank you. We're passing through a checkpoint that separates the communities of the Hazari people from everyone else. This is Koti Forti. Wow. This is Koti Forti. Wow. Check post. It shows you just how divided Pakistan is in some ways. Whoa. That you have to have barriers separating the different communities to stop them breaking out into interracial conflicts, into ethnic conflict. Oh yeah, back at the Serena. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Waysab. No, thank you for the tour. It was very interesting. Eleven. Eleven. I will call you. Okay, from reception. Thank you. Bye bye. Where was up? Yale. Tiga. Skam. Yape. Okay. Thank you. And that was our short tour of Quetta. We survived. Just about. Good morning from the capital of Baluchistan once again. As myself and Benjamin begin the next stage of our journey north to Kafiristan.
Let's do it. Salam alaikum, shukriya sab, bye bye. Hey guys, I'm going to Zob. Zob. With you? Okay, let's go, Benjamin. We've got a lift. Oh, come, oh, here, come, here. Come, here. come here, 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 come Taliban. Taliban. In Taliban and uh, Irani. And Irania as well. So it's very dangerous. Because I border uh, uh, Afghanistan border to Pakistan. Pakistan. Ah, no. And so it's Taliban come to Pakistan ah, no. and make problems in Pakistan. Brother, Pakistan, uh, nuclear. Nuclear country, nuclear Pakistan, country. very powerful. Iran, no nuclear No, country. no, Iran, no. Iran, Afghanistan, no. No India. What the hell is going on? Um, we just want to go to Zob, myself and Benjamin. scarier than when we were in Afghanistan. This is hectic. Traveling around with men, machine guns, pointing them at us. They're a little bit suspicious about why we want to go to Job, which is some random little village in the mountains. They say no foreigners have ever been there before. Why do you want to go? So, um, yeah, we'll see if we can get permission from the big boss. If we get permission, we have to have a military escort because of all the terrorist attacks that have taken place. Jello? Jello? Oh, big police escort. Shukriya. Whoa. Where are we from? I'm okay, how are you? Is your safety on? Jesus. In you get then. This feels like we're traveling in a real war zone and that's because it is a war zone in a sense. Although Baluchistan is part of Pakistan, it was never really tamed. It wasn't tamed by the British, it wasn't tamed by the Greeks, and it still hasn't really been tamed fully by the Pakistani army. Hence all the security. You play guitar on AK-47 oh, AK and, like this. <laughs> and, you know, yes. and you speak English. What? You are you are educated man. Yes, I'm. I'm very pleased to meet you. What is your name? Ali. Ali, pleased to meet you. And your good name? Benjamin. Benjamin. And, and your same Benjamin. Benjamin, Benjamin also. Two Benjamins. Two Benjamins. Two Benjamins. Oh, small chance. As in the gila, la 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 la. Come. Oh, we're going. Yes. Okay. So how do we go to Zob? I must now ask no. permission. To, uh, uh, take, take permission from all departments. Okay. If they allow you from Job, we will give you security. If they not allow no. you from Job, so then where do we go if they say no? Go where do we go? And tell from home department. But if they say no, how do we go to Peshawar if they say we no? We will go from Sibi, Jekabar, Multan, Sakkar. So all there the way back to route. Punjab. Yes, there is another route. And this Punjab. is because of terrorism yes. against tourists. Hey, it's very dangerous for tourists here. Yes. Men, this is worse than Afghanistan. <laughs> Jump, let's go, brother. Thank you, Vaisab. Shukriya. Shukriya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It seems that myself and Benjamin probably aren't going to Job in the mountains on the way to Peshawar because it's too dangerous for foreigners. There were three attacks last month. Oh, this way? No, this way. It's not easy traveling in Pakistan in this region that skirts the Afghan border. There's a lot of terrorism here. Sit where you want, Ben. You want to sit there or here? Sit with me. Okay, I'm sitting with you because we're going to play guitar. Oh, oh yeah, it's okay. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. Wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Now it's okay. All right, then. Let's play some music. Let's have a cigarette. Oh, 
refused permission to go to Jean. Instead, we're being sent back to Sindh province. Wow, like a movie star, like yeah. Bollywood star. Bollywood star. Wow, Sef Ali Khan. Sef Ali Khan. Sef Ali Khan. We are going to the bus station, finally, to get out of this town with our favorite guard in Pakistan, the friendliest guard and best singer. Best singer. With the, with the <laughs> Funniest guy in Pakistan, for sure. Baisab, it was a real pleasure to meet you, Baisab. Thank you. You are the best soldier in Pakistan. And you will see on YouTube your face. Okay, thank you. Shukri Ali. Good luck. Stay safe. Stay safe. Thank you, Baisab. Oh, it's okay. I have it. I have it. I have it. Thank you. Shukriya. I have it. I have it. I have it. Don't worry. Sabtiga. Shukriya, Bazigar. Oh, where are we going now? New one? Hello, guys. Okay, I'm coming in. Oh, my God. So this is our third different escort just to get to the bus station because each escort commands a different sector. So to cross to another sector, you have to go in another escort van. So this is our third one of the day. Oh. Okay, Shukriya, sir. <coughs> we've made it. I fell down a hole, but we've made it. What a nightmare. Where are we going, Benjamin? We are going to Tuka. No, Shaku. 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 Okay. Where am I going? Which town? I don't know. No one tells me anything. Sakar. 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 Kitna, kitna ganta. Yara, takriban tin baje niklega, yara baje gare. Sakar. Many hours. Many hours to Sakur, the town I don't even want to go to. Why the hell are they sending me there? Men, this is our bus. For seven hours. We're finally free. Oh, these are all the people traveling with us. We don't even know where we're being sent to. Some town called Ishkur or something. Where are we going? Sukha. Sukha. We're going to the town of Sukha Bled, somewhere in Sindh province. Kicked out of Baluchistan. Yale. Take a buddy. Thank you, Baisab. Oh my god, what is this place? Oh, nasty. Are you ready, Benjamin? Let's do it. Let's do it. Nine hours. The hell journey begins. Well, looks like it's back over the Bolan Pass we go as we head to some town, God knows where, back in the lowlands. And then from there we'll see how we continue northwards once again to um, to the north of Pakistan. Been quite the day. Having fun back back in Time of my life. Time I'll tell you what time. though, if you want tourists to come to Pakistan, sort it out. Yeah. Sort it out. Yeah, it's ridiculous saying come to Pakistan, we're open for tourism. And then when you come here, you get like basically put under armed guard and told what bus to get to and you can't go there and you can't do that. Anyway, that's um, the fun of traveling this part of the world. Well, we are back where it all started just a few days ago. The truth is, I've been told by the military here that there's no way at the present time that any foreigner will be able to complete a trip along the Afghan border towards Kafiristan and the Kalash people. That's a pity, because I think we would have had a great adventure here in Pakistan. But never mind, Benjamin, have you had fun in Pakistan? You're having a laugh, ain't you? Get me out of here. Hey, Get him out of here. Dig away, sir. Yeah, the trip didn't quite turn out as we planned. But um, just like Alexander the Great, who sailed home from this very coast, the Makran coast, I'm also going to leave from here and head back to Europe. Guys, short but sweet. See you next time, some other place, some other time. Kuda Hafiz from Pakistan, the land of the pure. Come on then, Benjamin. Oh.
Picture. Picture? Always a picture if you want. Come on then, selfie, brother. Tiger? Yeah, welcome. Bye-bye.